Yo guys, it's Vin. Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Anchorage, Alaska, and we are gonna be fishing uh, Ship Creek here, and we're gonna be fishing with Jake from the Bait Shack. He's gonna be taking us out. Brought my center pin rod from good old Michigan, and we're gonna see if we can get on some uh, silvers today. So it's gonna be an awesome experience. I'm gonna be fishing with my beautiful wife, and hopefully we can catch our limits today. So let's get right into it. All right, so one of the very popular ways of catching these silver salmon or pinks or kings down here in Anchorage is by just throwing a Blue Fox um, Super Vibrax spinner. This is a size five. Um, we've actually had a few bites on this pink pattern here with a silver front blade and uh, chartreuse back and also on a gold bodied spinner in all silver. And this is a very easy way um, to get people out here and do some fishing that aren't really um, too familiar with fishing. It's a good, easy tactic. Um, it's a simple cast and retrieve. It's a really good fishing style. And a lot of the locals throw this 90% of the time. Like I mentioned, it's super, super easy to fish this. I just simply casted it out. Now all I'm doing is just slowly retrieving it. You really wanna change your speeds. Um, because what you're doing is essentially swimming that spinner in front of those salmon and you're irritating them. You just want to do something that's going to get their attention, it's going to tick them off, and it's going to cause a reaction bite. There's definitely windows where this bite is a lot better than like the traditional um, skein and bobber um, fishing method. These fish get really aggressive, usually when the tide is starting to run out or coming in, those fish have to move. Um, and that's the time where I've seen a lot of people hooking up. So this is fishing method number one. And then I can go over method number two uh, once I switch over to that, and that is fishing a float or a bobber and then uh, running skein under it. Any luck yet? There we go. There we go. Oh, he's off. No way. No way. No way. That was the first cast. Oh my gosh. No. That was my first cast, Megan. All right guys, so the other popular fishing method here in Anchorage, Alaska to target these silvers is by using a big old blob of skein on a float. So what we're gonna do here is I have a glove, that way I don't get all messy. And I have an egg loop tied on a big old three out uh, Gamagatsku hook. And we're just gonna take a big old blob of skein and just place it right in the center of that fishing line. And you're gonna cinch that down and then you're just going to turn it and then place your hook right through the middle just like that so that looks really good and then I'll just go ahead and take off my glove and the way I'm running it here is I have it pegged with a bead 
I have a bead slit on here just because I mean from Michigan that's a pretty popular technique that I like to use is having a bead on here and I'm just running it off I have maybe like a two foot leader to a barrel swivel and then I have a half ounce barrel weight and then I'm just running my uh, 15 gram fast steep raven float and all we're doing guys I mean we're not running very deep at all these silvers like to run on on the top they run in the top three feet of of ship creek here so you want that bait to be milky you want it to be right on top and those silvers will smack it so we're gonna give it a big old cast out there and see if we can get some fish when you're throwing the float out here on ship creek guys you have to pay attention to the channel because it's shifting it's in on a tide so you want to start your cast at 45 degrees and let it go down to your opposite 45 degree angle and you just want to watch out for those deep pockets because that's where those fish are going to be running through they're coming in and out they're just following the tide um, and these are all hatchery silvers so um, having like i said very milky eggs and just watching your float uh, these fish actually hold on to the float pretty dang long um, which is something that I'm not used to down in Michigan you know when we're float fishing it's quick it's quick bobber downs bobber downs but what I've noticed here is those fish just sit there and they just chomp on those eggs and it's just a slower bobber drop for some reason but I mean if you just rinse and repeat and keep doing that um, time the tides perfectly like you'll you'll definitely get into some fish so I'm gonna keep running this same drift here uh, for maybe like an hour or so and we'll see if we can pick some fish up. Crazy, he'll two kings in a row. Oh, there we go. I'm hooked up, babe. Yeah, I know, but I'll clean them off in the water. Hold on. Yes! My first Alaskan fish. All right, guys, that was our first fish ever in Alaska. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, we got our licenses and uh, all that. Yeah. So this is how we fish over in Michigan is just a bead. Okay. That's all I'm using, no bead or no bait or anything. Wow. That was my second hit on the flow. I've only been float fishing for five minutes maybe. Set the hook. Oh. There we go. Got him. Fish on, baby. I 
think that was the one that bit yours, babe. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Is it a pink? That's awesome. Ah, uh, no. We'll definitely take the cohos though. Oh, it's a silver? Sweet. <laughs> that was awesome. Get it out there, babe. I think they're turning on. First coho. Freaking awesome. Shown, baby. There we go, baby. Nope, nope. Is that a coho? Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. They take they take the float down so nice and slow. Like, oh, it gives you time to just get a good hook set on them. Yeah, that's Jake right there. He's guiding out with some people. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. He's on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. He choked it, man. Do you guys want this fish? We're leaving tomorrow. No. Nice silver. Woo. Let me just snap a quick pick with them and I'll uh... Oh yeah All right guys, there is a oh Nice silver. Oh grab him grab him grab him. He's gonna go in the water <laughs> Coho salmon guys on the float. Hell yeah keep going he broke me off though Go boys, fish on. Megan. Megan. 
got a coho on the line here. Woo! All right. Those fish are so strong. That's a coho? Oh, that's a pink? Yeah. You see the red dot on the tail? Yeah. Yeah, they're pink. Okay. They're nice though. <laughs> so these are not good eating? No. Okay. All right, guys, my first pink salmon ever. Gorgeous fish. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on them here. So freaking cool. There he goes. Guys, this is pretty awesome fishing over here in Alaska. This water is absolutely frigid. And what you saw there was my first pink salmon. Earlier, I was float fishing when the tide was a little bit higher. And I picked up a nice coho on the float on an old, uh, that's just a classic Michigan rig. Is, uh, a bead and a flow. They looked at me like I was crazy when I was fishing that and when they saw what I caught right away, you know, it was like five drifts in, I got one before the tide got too low. But uh yeah, this is amazing. Amazing fishery. So all we're doing guys here is just kind of bottom bouncing. I have like a some sort of like egg sucking leech pattern here. I've got a just a little bead on here and I snelled a hook and ran some yarn just to kind of make it look like an egg sucking leech and that's what I picked up that that little pink on. When the tide is this low it makes it very very tough to do any sort of other style of fishing. There we go babe, one ate one. One just smoked the bead. That was awesome. I don't know how we're gonna get them up though. Woo. We have got a fish on, boys and girls. The tough thing about Ship Creek though is that to get down it is so hard. We're gonna have to muscle this fish up. It's the only way. Woo! Did you see that? Smack that yellow bead. Come on. Little humpy guys. There we go. There's a fish. That's a coho. Woo! That is a nice coho. Smoked. Smoked that bead.
All right, guys, we caught this little beautiful coho. Hey, do you want this coho? Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna let this little coho go. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video on Ship Creek. Um, later this week, we're gonna go ahead and go explore some more glacier runoff rivers um, and see if we can find uh, some more scenic locations. I'm um, not saying that this is not um, a very fun place to fish. It's definitely a very unique fishery. Uh, Ship Creek is super awesome to fish. It was a really good learning curve for me um, trying to uh, learn the tide swings on this creek. Um, we got a few bobber downs, we got a few bead takes, um, and we also bounced a little bead around for a little bit when the tide was super low because that's the only uh, way you can really fish it. Um, it's not my preferred method of catching these fish, but you gotta, you gotta fish the way you have to, you know, when the water's so low, if that's the only option. Um, that's what we're gonna do so anyways guys thank you so much for watching uh, we're gonna go ahead and post this video up today and we should hopefully have some more um, Alaska fishing adventures coming up as well so uh, once again thanks again for watching make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and make sure to subscribe guys